good morning from our third and final day here in Moab, Utah. If you watched the last couple of episodes, we did Arches National Park and Canyonlands National Park. Today we are just exploring some of the areas outside of the parks and also exploring the actual city of Moab. I guess you can't really call it a city, it's more like a small town, but anyway, it's pretty cute in there, so I'm still really winded from this hike. I'm really out of shape, okay. Um, we're doing the Corona Arch Trail. We did this one last time we were here, but we didn't go all the way to the arch. We stopped about halfway, and I just like flew the drone. I'm not gonna fly the drone today though because I'm trying to preserve the battery. But the goal is to actually make it all the way to the arch today. It's a little after sunrise and there's quite a lot of color in the sky. So I'm hoping for some good photos and some good footage for you. This hike, I'm not sure how long it is. I didn't look at the sign, of course, but I'll put it on the screen. Um, if I remember correctly, it's a little on the longer side compared to the other hikes we've done on this trip. And it's a little bit harder, I think. Um, but like I said, we didn't do the whole thing last time. So anyway, come along for this beautiful hike this morning. Okay, this is where we stopped last time where you have to like climb up these footholds and there's a rope or a cable and then there's the arch over there. Okay, the footholds were easier than I thought. Now there's a little ladder over here. Okay, we're almost there. We're the only ones up here. It's beautiful. It's definitely better, I think, in the winter. When it's not like super hot. Last time we were here was summer. Okay. And then right next to Corona Arch, there's another arch. I don't know if you can see it. Bowtie Arch right here. And it's just a cute little one. And then also there's like a spur trail that goes to Pinto Arch. I don't think we're going to hike to that one today, but there's Bowtie Arch over there. And then Corona is just right there. Okay, it's not really the best light for photos. It's very cloudy over here. The sun rose in that direction. The sky is clearing up over there, but there's not really any light on the arch yet. I don't know how long we're gonna stay, but I definitely wanna rest for a little bit. <laughs> um, the hike wasn't really like super bad. Definitely the most difficult one we've done on this trip so far. Um, there are definitely some very steep areas, some places where you have to like climb, like I showed, um, but it's not too terribly long, so. Definitely worth it if you can do it. I want to say this is like a, an all skills kind of hike, but it was definitely worth it for the site. Beautiful. There are some other people coming on their way, so I'm not gonna have it to myself for very long, but beautiful still. <laughs> Okay, light-wise, I think it looks better from this side, so I'm gonna try to get some photos. There are another couple of hikers coming, though, so I might have to edit them out, but we'll see. You can see the railroad down there, and it cuts all the way out and into that beautiful view. And then there's the arch over there. The sky is clearing up over in that direction. Okay, continuing my rant about people not respecting nature. Don't come here and carve your initials into the rock or the trees or anything. God, so annoying. Okay, I definitely lied earlier. The sun rose over there, not over there. I don't know directions and it was too cloudy to really tell, but we're waiting, hoping that the sun peeks out so I can get a better photo of the arch. And then we're gonna go down the same road towards Moab, stop at a couple more of the places to stop, and then go into town, take photos of the murals. I definitely want to do that. And then maybe, maybe eat breakfast somewhere. Um, but yeah, we'll see. Okay. 
Okay, we've come now to the Longbow Arch Trail, but we're not gonna go all the way to the arch. It's a mile and a quarter to the arch, but just a short way up are some dinosaur tracks. So that's kind of cool. So I'll show you those. <laughs> Okay, if you hike up from the dinosaur tracks, there's some petroglyphs up here. Um, the trail map was really confusing and I don't know if we went the right way and the trail isn't marked at all, but pretty much if you just go up from the dinosaur tracks, you'll eventually get there, I guess. It's on this big rock face at the top. Um, yeah, if you wanna see more petroglyphs, make sure you watch the video from yesterday. We saw a bunch yesterday, um, but I'll show you some close-ups of these. Look at these beautiful colors on this rock. Such a beautiful green, turquoise-ish kind of color. Okay, I think going down we found the right trail. So there are the dinosaur tracks. If you come over here and climb up and it kind of zigzags up and then the petroglyphs are like up there. All right, so we just treated ourselves to a nice lunch at this place called Antica Forma. It's an Italian restaurant and they have pizza that is that they make in a wood stove and it's like authentic Neapolitan pizza and it was really good. We got the margarita pizza and then I got some strawberry lemonade with the strawberries like chopped up in there and it was so good. And then for dessert we got creme brulee and it was also really good. Um, definitely suggest this place. Um, it was on the more expensive side. The pizza we got was like $14 and then depending on what pizza you get it goes up to like $22. They're not super big. Um, they are like personal size, but we split one. They're big enough to not be personal, I would say, but we split it and yeah, it was really good. <laughs> and now we're gonna just kind of explore the Moab area in town and see some murals and maybe check out some cute shops. I don't know, we'll just see. Okay, here's the first uh, mural we'll look at the classic greetings from moab and now i'm going to take a bunch of selfies in front of it yay okay this is another really awesome one obviously i love it because it's a chicken this is at a place called doe bird but they're closed right now for the season but it's a donut kind of place coffee that kind of thing um yeah based on what i've seen the donuts look really good too bad they're closed but yeah <laughs> i think it's really cute had so much fun exploring beautiful downtown Moab. There is so much charm. We took photos of a ton of the murals, but there were so many we didn't see. We stopped by some galleries and shops too. I picked up some cute souvenirs by local artists, which I love doing on trips. Then we drove out of town and through Castle Valley and into the LaSalle Mountains. It was snowy and gorgeous, but I didn't take a lot of footage. This is the end of our time in Moab. Make sure you are subscribed so you can see our adventures in Bryce Canyon National Park next time. Thank you for watching.